Right, in the second part of this template video, we're going to um, look at finishing off our template. So the first thing we need to do is we'll have a little recap of where we got to. So we started creating our template by creating a layout for our page using tables. We used uh, a table, then we joined the cells to make the gaps. So I've got a header section, which I inserted my animated banner into. I've got my navigation section, which I inserted my buttons into. And we put links on those. Okay, we gave the link a name. We put .html because we're going to link to the file with .html on. And we know that we have not made that page yet, but when we do, it will work. We're going to copy this page, which is called template, and would have .html on, um, and it will link once we've done that. So that is kind of as far as we've got. So what we should have in our folders is in our images, we've still got our banner and our buttons. In our pages, we've got our template page. So what we now need to do is have a think about what else we need on our web page. Okay, so there's two major things. Um, obviously, we don't want the content because that's going to be on separate pages, but we might want some information in the footer. Uh, and we might want that in there. We also will want the colors and the styles. Now, to get colors and styles, we can use, if I zoom in, this bar at the top. Okay, that is our text color, the first circle. The second circle is our background color, and then we've got our list of fonts, and we've also got information here. We can change body, the size of it here, Okay, the body text or the different sizes. Okay, and we will ignore those bits and bobs. But basically, this changes our colors and our styles. Now, what is really frustrating about this program is if I was to click in here and write something, is in, is in black and bold because I've got it bold and it's in the style that I've chosen. Okay, so I could change the text style. Also, if I change the text color, which is the first one, I change to orange and I start writing. You can see if I zoom in, is that it's changed to orange, it's changed the text, it's changed the style. Now that's great. The frustrating thing is this if I go to the second one, which is my background color, and I choose it, so I'm going to choose, let's say, red, nothing happens. And that's because I need to select the areas I want the background colors to be. So to get the background color, it's usually easier to click in the header cell, click and drag, and make sure you've highlighted all your cells. Okay, and what sometimes happens, as you can see, is this cell doesn't actually select. So I might have to do this twice. Let's pick our color, that's black. So our background for our second dot. This one, I'll highlight those two, and I'll pick black again. And it's just a bit of knocking about to get that. So I've got my black background. Now my writing, I'll click in there. I'm going to center it. I am going to choose a style which I would like. Let's have a uh, Calibri. I'm going to choose my color of white and I'm going to write the information about my club. So I'm going to say, uh, well, Let's reselect that. Young games designers is on every Tuesday from four ten PM to five five PM. So now I've got my information in there. Okay. If I like that, I can change the styles. Now you might be thinking, how can I get it bigger? Well, we can use these here. So heading one, heading two, heading three. I'm gonna pick, I think heading three is quite nice. Um, and that's really the simplest, easiest way to change our styles. Okay. And there we go. I've actually got a template already now. I've got my banner in there. I've got my layout, I've got my buttons. And I've got my section that says, is my footer, which tells me when Young Games Designers is on. So I'm going to save that. 
sometimes we might have to do save as and then save over the top of it. So I've saved that page there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to check it in a web browser. Okay, this will not, and I'll repeat, not put it on the internet. It's only checking what it would look like if it were on the internet. I'm going to use the button right at the far end of this top section, which has got a little world on it. And if we click on it, it will give you a list of browsers to check. Now, it's, it's likely the first time you do this, there won't be a set of browsers there to choose. There won't be Internet Explorer, which is what you'd expect. I've already, as this is my laptop, gone in and chosen Firefox. You need to ask your teacher for help to locate uh, how to get onto Internet Explorer via this section. Once you're on it, once you're on it, okay, and you've done it once, it will always be there, so it'll be absolute fine, okay? What you can do is you can also click remember my choice for file links so if you link to a file uh, it might it sometimes does it automatically okay I'm not going to put that on so when I click OK my web page now comes up this is what it looked like on the website so I have got my animated banner is now animating I've got my buttons down the side and I've got this section here if we click on one of these it will say it can't find the page but what you'll notice about right at the top in the web link right at the top is it's got about.html so that's the page it's looking for if I go back the one I created originally said template.html so that is the page that that's looking for but what we can do now is I can copy this page call that one about call that one code call that one competition and then fill in the content on this section and I will have a web page that's really really quick and easy to knock up and get together okay so you should by using those two guides now have a template that is ready to use